it'll be a fun adventure for everyone. I'm Meg. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos while you're here. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. I've lost 80 pounds on a plant-based diet and love to share what I've learned along the way, mistakes I've made, and how I've progressed and am managing to keep the 80 pounds off. In today's video, I have a big announcement to make. I'm hosting a Mary's Mini Challenge. Yay! So if you're unfamiliar with what a Mary's Mini is, I will go into that and explain what it's all about. But I'm inviting you to join me, participate, join in on the Mary's Mini Challenge from October 1st to October 7th. And if you happen to be watching this video in the middle of that time or at a later date, that's okay. You can do your own Mary's mini challenge if you like. And I'd still like to see your posts and you can tag me and let me know that you decided to try the Mary's mini because of this video. So what is a Mary's mini? So Mary is Mary McDougal, the wife of Dr. John McDougal, who has written excellent books about plant-based nutrition. Many, many books, but a couple of them are The Starch Solution very popular, and also the McDougal program for maximum weight loss. And Mary McDougal writes all of the yummy recipes in these books, and obviously is a very big part of the McDougal program. So they created this Mary's mini diet to really scale down the starch solution and scale down even from the maximum weight loss program to give people a jumping off point to get started on a plant-based diet to keep it super duper simple so that there's no decision fatigue involved and it just really simplifies and makes things really straightforward and really easy when asked the question, what do I eat? So the way it works is you choose one starch. I'm choosing potatoes. I absolutely love potatoes. And I think the challenge will be doable for me with potatoes as my starch and as my base. You could also choose something like rice or quinoa or another whole grain. You could also choose sweet potatoes or a bean if you prefer. So alongside that one starch, you eat non-starchy vegetables. So your green and yellow vegetables, your leafy greens, your cruciferous vegetables, all the other vegetables that are the non-starchy ones. I'll leave a little uh, list up here on the screen or a link below that you can check out. So this meal plan is a diet. It is only intended to be done for seven to 10 days. And it can be a great jumping off point to start a plant-based diet and really reset your taste buds and get going in the right direction. And it can just make it very easy to just prep your potatoes and then prep frozen or fresh or canned vegetables to go alongside it. And it makes it super easy to just jump in the deep end and get going with it. Mary's Mini can also be a great reset. So if you've been eating a plant, whole food plant-based diet for a while and maybe you've gone a little off track, maybe into some more junkier kind of foods, it can be nice to have a challenge to kind of reset and get back to enjoying delicious whole foods like potatoes and non-starchy veggies. Along with your chosen starch and your non-starchy vegetables, you're free to add condiments to your food. So very important, add seasonings, spices, and simple condiments that will make the food delicious, enjoyable, and will keep you on track. So the one starch stays the same for every meal for the seven days. So I chose potatoes, so I will be eating potatoes at every meal for seven days, which might sound kind of crazy, but I think it'll be a really fun challenge. And I'll make it so that I'm making really simple, just batch prepped, you know, steamed potatoes with different sauces and combining different things that way and keeping it really, really simple. But I think I also will experiment with some different recipes and kind of new things and test some things with you guys as I go. So that'll be really fun. 
Also included in this plan is one piece of fruit a day. It doesn't seem like a lot. I tend to eat a little more than one piece of fruit a day. So I think that might be one of my challenges with this challenge. A couple other challenges that I think I might have during the challenge are making meals for my husband and my son as well at the same time. I'm going to try to have them eat similar things to me. Like they'll eat potatoes and veggies as well, but then they'll also have other things like beans and tofu and other stuff. So I think that'll be a little bit of a challenge to try to navigate. I think it'll also be difficult to not eat oatmeal for a week. I love eating oats, so that might be a bit of a challenge for me. The one piece of fruit a day might be a bit of a challenge. And not eating beans. I'm very used to eating uh, different beans, lentils, chickpeas, all that good stuff. So that might be a bit weird for me to kind of reduce the variety. But who knows, maybe next time I do a challenge, I'll do Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen, or I'll do maybe Dr. Will Bolsowitz's plant diversity challenge. I don't know. It'll be fun to test out this challenge for seven days to see how it goes, see how I cope with it and how I manage and it'll be fun to have a simplified meal plan but at the same time try to get a little bit creative with my meals in using the same ingredients or similar ingredients for all of my meals so i think this is going to be a really fun challenge i haven't done something like this on the channel before so i think it'll be really fun to get you guys involved as well if you want to join me that would be amazing you can use the hashtag mary's mini challenge on Instagram or Facebook or here on YouTube and also the hashtag Mary's Mini with Meg. I'd love to have you join in and participate with me. If you have any questions about Mary's Mini, if anything was sort of unclear, absolutely ask me questions in the comment section below. I'll also leave links to Dr. McDougall's website so you can check out the Mary's mini plan. They have a beautiful PDF. They just kind of revamped the Mary's mini guidelines. So I'll definitely link that below so you can go check it out if you're interested. And I'll link a couple videos where they discuss Mary's mini as well, kind of Q&A style um, interviews that they've had about Mary's mini. So I think this will be a really fun challenge. I hope you join in with me and even if you don't want to join in, uh, I hope you find it entertaining and fun to watch. I plan on sharing a haul of my potatoes and other ingredients, other foods that I want to uh, eat during the challenge. I'll probably share some batch cooking and maybe some recipes as well, some what I eat in a day content. So it's gonna be really fun. Uh, again, I hope you join in. Follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page as well. I'll be posting on Instagram daily during the challenge with either recipes or a meal that was exciting or a meal that was not exciting, <laughs> just how things are going and how things are progressing. And at the end, I'll do a little summary video letting you guys know how it went, what challenges I bumped into, and if I would do it again, and all these kinds of things. So I hope you enjoy this video and that you'll come join me on my Mary's Mini Challenge. It'll be a fun adventure for everyone, and it'll be great to connect with you and chat while I'm going through it and you're going through it and we're going through some of the same challenges potentially. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel below if you haven't already. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!